Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now, I like making videos on famous ancient sites from around the world. I also like bringing you things maybe you have never heard about. Today is one of those days. I'm flying into northern Mongolia and taking a look at what are called deer stones. This is the city of Maroon in northern Mongolia. And just to the west of that, we have an ancient site and speculation has reigned on how old these things are maybe 3,000 4,000 years old possibly older there is not a lot of uh, stuff written about these but I will leave a link or two below but here you see a whole field of these deer stones and they are located at a few different sites in Mongolia and Siberia and a few other different locations but here is what it looks like in this area pretty desolate area and I think that is the reason why these are still around today, just not a lot of human activity around here. And just near that field of deer stones, we have an ancient site here. Ancient circles and the deer stones. These are burial mounds, I believe. And I'm going to do a little reading on these, but here you have a look at one of these deer stones. Humanoid figure on top, and they have depictions of flying reindeers. And another depiction that is common on a lot of these is a belt and warrior symbolism. And I can't help but think that has something to do with Orion, because these are set up around, <clears throat> excuse me, set up around tombs, and they have to do, I believe, with the afterlife. And I just want to do a little bit of reading on these, but let me just show you a few more pictures here of what this area looks like. Very desolate. And we got a few more pics we can look at here. But here you can see what these deer stones look like. Now I'm just going to jump over to this website here. I will leave the link for this below. It says, throughout the grasslands in northern Mongolia and southern Siberia lay scattered hundreds of megaliths, excuse me, bearing mysterious carvings that seem to depict flying reindeer. Known as deer stones, these upright stone slabs measure 3 to 15 feet tall and occur in small groups, or concentrated in larger groupings, often in association with stone burial mounds called, and they got a name for them here, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I've already tried a few times and it just gets funnier each time. It says, there are over 900 deer stones in Central Asia and Southern Siberia, of which 700 are in Mongolia alone. These monumental features are believed to have been erected by Bronze Age nomads approximately 3,000 years ago. And there is some debate on that, but here you get a good look at these deer stones and what they say these are are flying reindeers. It says deer stones are usually constructed from granite or greenstone, depending on which is the most abundant in the surrounding area. Reindeer feature prominently in nearly all the deer stones. Early stones have been very simple, have very simple images of reindeer, and as time progresses, the designs increase in detail. A gap of 500 years results in the appearance of complicated flying reindeer depiction. Reindeer are depicted as flying through the air rather than merely running on land. Sometimes the reindeer hold a sun disk or other sun-related image in their antlers. And I find that fascinating. In ancient Egypt, we have uh, rams and uh, falcons with the sun disk on their head. And here, I believe, just because reindeer were abundant in the area, ancient people associated them to the afterlife. It says, reindeer and the sun is a very common association in Siberian shamanism. Tattoos on buried warriors contain deer tattoos featuring antlers embellished with small bird's heads. This reindeer sun bird imagery perhaps symbolizes the shaman's spiritual transformation from the earth to the sky, the passage from earthly life to heavenly life. As these reindeer images also appear in, appear in warrior tattoos, it is possible that reindeer were believed to offer protection from dangerous forces. Another theory is that the deer spirit served as a guide to assist the warrior soul to heaven. So that is similar with uh, bird and the uh, connection to the gods in Egypt. Uh, flying reindeer was the connection to these ancient people and the spiritual afterlife. So I just think this kind of proves that uh, people living in a desolate area thousands of years ago led a very spiritual existence. 
And here you get a look at some of these deer stones that were set up by burial tombs, often the sun disk, flying reindeer, and other imagery is associated with these deer stones, but I find this pretty fascinating. This is something I had only heard about in passing, but uh, this is the area where they are located. These are deer stones located in Mongolia and a few other sites. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.